Hey folks, it's Julie Gold here and I wanted to shoot this short video to share a little bit about myself and a recent realization that I had that has really impacted um, me in a profound way and changed how I introduce myself, which may seem like kind of a weird thing, but uh, hopefully it'll make sense once you've watched this video. So I'm a certified health and wellness coach and I work primarily with professional women who have kids at home. And when I introduce myself in a professional setting, so I'm at a networking event, I'm at um, some opportunity, health fair, whatever, uh, where I'm meeting potential clients, at some point in the conversation, I would always include the phrase, I'm someone who's, who struggles with her weight, who's always struggled with her weight. And the reason that I did that at least the surface reason, was I wanted to share a little bit about my story with my potential clients. Uh, in my late 20s, I was 60 pounds overweight and I decided to make a change. And I've maintained that weight loss for 16 years now. And so I do know how hard it is to make substantial changes in your life. And I do know how hard it is to maintain that weight loss as life progresses when you're 26 and single, it's a lot easier to lose weight than when you're 42 married with two kids. It just is. And so, um, so I would, I would include that phrase in, um, in my introduction of myself. And recently at three in the morning, which apparently is when all important realizations uh, tend to come to me, I realized that uh, it wasn't an accurate statement. To say I've always struggled with my weight uh, was no longer accurate. I've been at this weight for well over a decade. The first couple of years, yeah, they were a little hard to adjust to and figure out how to do what I needed to do. But I am no longer a person who struggles with their weight. And so I realized uh, that I needed to shift that. And I had this kind of surface reason for uh, sharing that information, mostly just, you know, to kind of share a little bit about myself with potential clients. But there's a deeper reason, and one that is tied to some shame that I have around once being heavy. And I use that phrase as kind of a way to hedge my bet, which it sounds weird, but it felt like if I introduced myself to you as someone who always struggled with her weight, then if we m meet six months from now, a year from now, and I've gained a bunch of weight, you're going to be like, well, she's always struggling with her weight. Of course she's fat again. And what I realized was that was about protecting my ego. And because frankly, I'm pretty sure you don't care at all what I weigh. What I weigh today or what I weigh in six months has no meaning in your life. It only has meaning in my life. And so I had this realization that um, today, I choose my body composition, which may sound really arrogant, but it's true. I mean, the choices I make uh, have a direct impact on my body composition. And so if I'm eating really healthy, if I'm exercising a ton, that has an effect. If I'm not eating really healthy and I'm not exercising much, which I haven't done recently because I've had the flu and uh, haven't been able to get back into it, that has an effect. And so I now introduce myself as someone who used to struggle with her weight, which is far more accurate. And uh, you may think, well, it's kind of a subtle difference. But the reality is I was still identifying with someone I'd been almost 20 years ago. And I'm no longer that person. And I deserve to own where I am today. And so the reason I'm sharing this video is A, I thought it was kind of a cool realization. and, and interesting how multi-layered some of this stuff can be. But I also wanted to encourage you to consider what old stories are you hanging on to that are no longer accurate or serving you that still show up in your world today. So if you have a comment, please put it below and I hope you'll tune in again sometime soon. Thanks a lot.